I'll have another go at trying to articulate how I went from, from priest looking at becoming a priest to more looking in the direction of religious life, because I'm not sure I've done a very good job. Um, while I was training to be a priest, I suppose two different things were happening. I think one was very specific to the, the college, the kind of college that I was trained to be a priest at. And I think the other was, is probably just more, more general of, of the changing times in our country and the, um, the Church of England responding to that. So I, th I think quite a few of my experiences were probably specific to the, the kind of college I was at and the kind of people that were at this college. And I suppose like, I felt a bit out of place because it felt very overall, like there was a whole mixture of, of people from different backgrounds, but but overall it kind of felt quite posh middle class and, and I always feel quite uncomfortable in that kind of context. Um, so, so in itself, just that in itself is the kind of thing that would make me uncomfortable. And then um, the kinds of comments about, um, well, I won't give specific examples, but, but the kinds of comments people were making maybe linked to to that kind of environment it really um jarred with me because I, I i felt really called to more council estate or urban priority kind of um ministry and so if people were making um like maybe like more disparaging comments about poor people that that really felt painful because because i've I felt called to somehow live in solidarity with the poor, which you can do as a priest. I'm not saying you can't, um, and lots of priests do, but so, so comments like that made me feel uncomfortable. And sometimes because it was people that were training to be priests that were making these comments, I suppose sometimes that like put me off the idea of becoming a priest because I was thinking, oh my goodness, is this what priests are like? Is this what becoming a priest is like? Which I can assure you it's not because this was just like a handful of people making these comments in one particular style of college and there are different colleges around the country that train priests so I think yeah a lot was just specific to a handful of people that were around me um, and I wonder if I'd been at a different theological college if my, my whole experience could have been so different and, and maybe I would be a priest now if I'd been at a different college but um, you know how, how God works in mysterious ways I wonder if it was almost meant to be that I was at this college um, having these experiences that, that made me sort of question what what being a priest would be like or what being a priest was about but in the wider picture I got this overall sense that the kind of priest that I, I most felt drawn to or that I most admire or the kind of priest that I felt called to be was that more kind of pastoral living in the parish, living in solidarity with the parishioners, living in a similar context, experiencing similar things to the parishioners, um, like visiting them in their own homes to see how they lived, really being like a, a champion of the people and really being very familiar with the with the lives of the parishioners without there being this sort of distance of being very separated from the parishioners or being or living in 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 a grander a grander home or a in a way where you just you, you weren't you weren't rubbing shoulders with your parishioners so much. I felt called more to the former and I just got this sense that overall that kind of more pastoral, maybe more spiritual, I know that's not the right word to use um form of being a priest was kind of seemed to be like gradually dying out and or it was more difficult to find th those kinds of priests and that that the the newer kind of priest that was coming in was was more felt to me more more managerial and more a bit less servant leader or a bit less one of the people living in solidarity with them or something like that. I really struggle for the words, but I guess I should stress that like, like with anything in life, you can't have an experience of a few people and say that that's 
that's representative of, of all people in that line of work. So I don't know, just because I've had a bad experience of a couple of bus drivers doesn't mean that all bus drivers are like that, just to give a, a little example. So uh, there are so many priests in the country and every priest is unique. And so just because I've had, just because some priests have this focus or some priests have that kind of attitude or mentality doesn't mean at all that that all priests think like that because there's just such such a variety of styles of priest and um, I guess approaches to being a priest and like I said I've got so many friends who are priests I've got I know so many priests who are very pastoral and very like spiritual if you want to use that word uh, I know quite a few priests who really do feel called to live it really in solidarity with the poor and in solidarity with their um, parishioners and to the kinds of priests who will be who will speak out if they feel like the church is compromising the gospel or maybe trying to kind of um give preference um to, to the rich somehow for their own for their own benefit or, or those kinds of things so there definitely are priests who who are um who feel called to the kinds of things that i feel called to so i um I'm not saying that, yeah, all priests are unpastoral or unspiritual or anything like that by any means. But um, I think the more I thought about it, the more I felt like being a priest would somehow actually be a hindrance to the kind of life I felt called to or the kind of ministry I felt called to. So for a start, I was almost um, sensing that that being a priest actually sometimes um meant you you couldn't have it as spiritual or as pastoral a ministry as you felt called to um again that might not be the right wording i felt that if i lived in a vicarage for example i'd be i'd be living in in a house that was more grand or nice or, or bigger than my parishioners and something didn't feel right about that or, or something didn't quite feel right about having more money than the people I was serving or, or living among and I, I just somehow started to feel that I was caught to something that was a bit more I don't want to say closer to the gospel because I don't mean to say that that priests aren't close to the gospel but there was somehow somehow more radical maybe than being a priest would allow and so while i was at theological college um two other things started to happen or or, or kind of seeds started to be planted in more of a non-direction one of them as i've kind of mentioned already is that i started because I felt that I, I somehow wasn't being I wasn't being formed in the way that God wanted me to be formed or, or something to that effect. I started going to the like the spirituality section of the library and trying to read anything I could find on the themes of the kind of things that I did feel God wanted me to grow in. Things like identification with the poor or solidarity with the poor or get, um, living a life of uh, denying yourself in order to um, better feed others or being poor or becoming more poor so that others be could become like, richer uh, those kinds of things or just anything on these themes of anything that was more about a more pastoral approach or a more prayerful approach than, than the kinds of approaches I felt um, surrounded by while I was at college and at the same time as as I was reading about things of this kind of nature and then finding that quite often the kinds of things I was reading had been written by people in religious life or about people in religious life like not always but quite often at the same time one of the ordinance that I was training with was actually a religious sister herself who felt called to be a priest um, on top of the fact that she was a religious sister 
And so that, that, that was the first time I, I sort of was actually friends with a, a religious sister. And, and there was something about her and her, her views that, that her outlook on life or, or her, what she felt called to as a religious sister definitely resonated a lot much more with what I felt called to than, um, than the kinds of attitudes that I was experiencing um, at theological college in general and the kinds of things that she felt uncomfortable about um, were, were exactly the same kinds of things that made me feel uncomfortable and so that was the beginning of uh, I, I eventually actually went to stay with her at her community for a while and that was my first time staying with sisters as well but as I've mentioned I, I'd been feeling like I wasn't somehow being formed at, at the college in the way that I felt God wanted me to be formed. And when I was praying about it, there was something about people in religious life um, that I felt these people will form me in the way that I'm meant to be formed for my future ministry or my future vocation. So even then, I think maybe God was, in all of this, feeling uncomfortable about certain things or things jarring with me or some things not feeling right. It, it feels like even in that uncertainty or, or discomfort, God was somehow in there and kind of even then I can see kind of putting me in a, a religious life kind of direction.